All right, people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today is Wednesday. That means we're using my Uber uh Tweak the deck just a little bit more. Uh, it's actually a return of a card that I haven't ran in a while, but you know now since we're going with the level eater route again, uh, let's go ahead and return it. So it's actually the return of Metal Reflex Line, which of course is a level 10. We eat off some of the levels of level eater. So uh, of course this attack is zero. So you know it works well with uh, uh, you know that play. So right now I didn't open that well, but at least you know I have a. Mm, so I at least have a Metal Reflect Slime, so, you know, a nice 3,000 boogie to go ahead and sit behind. So, it only gives me more defensive plays, but it also gives me more exceed-based plays as well. So I was like, wait, why, if I'm playing Level Eater and shit again, why the heck is he in here, you know? And, uh, what's it called? Um, oh my god, what's the name of that card? Uh, Starlight, Starbright? You know, target, what is it, like, targeted, like, a monster with, like, zero attack or defense, and then all the monsters come the same level as that monster, if they have the same attack and defense, so, zero. Yeah. We're definitely just harping on the fact that, you know, Yulabelle has zero, Level Eater has zero, we're going zero route. Uh, I drew Ultimate Nightmare, which is bleh, but it's fine because I'm just going to go ahead and pitch uh, Level Eater instead because I, I want Level Eater in the graveyard because uh, we can definitely do some plays in the future with Level Eater in the graveyard, of course. Set the limit reverse and go ahead and pass. So, no extra deck, so, no extra deck, 42 card deck, so let's go ahead and see. Uh, the only deck that's, that's good right now that's running no extra deck is, of course, uh, fucking Klebola. Klebola, that turbo killer stuff. I did. Discard Dark. That's too special. That is too special. Second effect. Because then I could discard one Dark Monster, send one Dark Monster. Yeah, not especially. That was my normal summon. I don't need to go two ham on your first turn. You don't need the you don't need the whole entire sandwich just yet. You know, get a taste of it first. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what my opponent is doing. I I need a little bit more information. If he kills my Dark Grepher, I might summon Terror. But you know, Dark Grepher is a 17 meter, which isn't imp too impressive. I mean, shit, Stratos can run him over, but oh, I'm again night. See if I was gonna say if it's not getting that on the other hand. I'm about to say, is it really a U Bell Mirror match? Let's say if it's a U Bell Mirror match, it's interesting. Oh wow it is, okay. Alright. Alright, well hopefully you opened up with the limit reverse. Hope you opened up just as well as I did. Because I can already go tear, but I'm not gonna go tear right now. Hmm. Hmm. I might I might exit on you just cause you set so much. I might just do it. So you play wait, you play U Bell deck and you're wondering about Power Graffer? Like wow, really? Like wow, really? I hope that's not true. We'll go ahead and send our second level eater. Because second level eater means that we're ready. We're ready to do some XC plays, people. And I guess I'll go ahead and foolish just cause why not? And I guess I'll go ahead and send the Phantom of Chaos because he works well with Mask Chameleon and shit. I said I'm thinking about going ahead and pushing for the Exiton. The only problem with pushing for the Exiton is that I'll be out of place too. You know, because I'm going to wipe my limit verse and if I activate. Me Wait, I'm not activating Mask Chameleon's effect. Hmm. I mean, then at least I don't plan on to, because if I plan on it, if I activate Defect, then I go for Exiton, I won't get Tear, because I can't special summon any other monsters except for Exiton. You know. I can go for, like, an Amades or something. Hmm. I just don't trust my opponent with all this background. I know one of them is just something to do with Ebel. Eh, fuck it. I'll let him summon Ebel first. I'll take the duel slow. Yeah, I'll let him you bell first. I don't need you bell right now. I have Greffer. I, I ha I'm in control. I have the highest attacking monster. The monsters be back row, so unless he has some kind of back row to hit our Greffer with, I'm not going to press the emergency button right now. So, I said I'll allow him to you bell first. Plus 100. 17 minus 14 is 300. Go. 
Uh, I'll go ahead and end my turn. You want to go ahead and play them in reverse? No? Okay. That's that. I could take the duel slow. I'm not in a hurry. No reason to press the panic button, exiton button right now. Not yet, anyway. Soon, though. Soon. No. So he has his own dark graffer. Mm hmm. Just caught a dark. You don't get to, it's not Armageddon Knight. You need to discard a dark to use dark reference effect. Might go for terror during the end phase. Okay, there you go. Alright, go ahead. That's fine. Go ahead. Oh, so you opened up with Terror too? I opened up with what? Ultimate Nightmare? Yeah. So, over with it, just drawing the bell. The only problem is you set all that back row. Depends on what he does with Dark Graffer. If he just crashes into me, then I'm, I'm gonna push next turn. Oh, uh, that's a light. That's a light. You have to send a dark. Ew, calculator. I haven't seen that card run in your bell next in millenniums. <laughs> That, that's not true. That's how we say I'm better millennium, but it's been a cool minute since Calculator's been played in you, though. I don't care who you send, as long as it's the dark. I said, if you're gonna run Dark Graffer, run him right, cause it seems like you don't even know what Dark Graffer does. It might be best just to go ahead and exit on him. Alright, that's fine. Might be best to go ahead and exit him because he set all that. You know, you can only summon one you bell up in one place, so I'll get rid of all your other cards. Galaxy yeah, Queen's Light is nice. I could. Yeah, I can go Mask Chameleon, summon you bell. Galaxy Queen's Light, make them all 10. Super Chocolate Fudge Covered, wipe your back row. Yeah, so, going this guy. Effect. So you pretty much have to activate, well you can activate the reverse and shit on summon, but I'm going to wipe all your shit, so. Which means you'll get Terror, and Terror will, and Terror will wipe, so you'll have Terror, because I'm assuming you're going to have some kind of card to summon you, Bell. I'm assuming. So you're going to have Terror, I'll Super Chocolate you both covered, you're going to end kill me. But then I can always chain the limb reverse and summon my you, Bell, and summon my Terror. And Terror will kill your Terror, summon the Ultimate Nightmare. Then your Ultimate Nightmare will kill my Ultimate. My, then you'll attack using your Ultimate Nightmare and kill my Terror. Then I'll summon Terror. Then we'll crash and kill each other because they both effect, both their effects go off. So that's fun. Actually, you know what? I might just Castell. You know, just because you did that. So. I might just go ahead and cast L you. Let's return you to the deck. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Turn you bell to the deck. See, that's why you don't know, preemptively activate your limit verse. You gotta, you gotta think ahead. My opponent here didn't think ahead. He just was like, all right, let me just go ahead and summon you, Bell. And it's like, now I'm gonna cast tell you. See, respond to your opponent and do your plays accordingly. So now your Bell's in your deck. Now I don't have to worry about any of your revival cards. So we'll just go ahead and attack, kill your right riffer. So hopefully you top deck into another arm again and I descend. Uh, 
Go ahead. You build effect negated, of course. Uh, the limit reverse stays, but I don't really like for like telling you. So you don't have your bell in the graveyard anymore. So hopefully you can maybe use like one of your call of the haunteds or something to go ahead and revive Armageddon and send you bell. But right now, I'm definitely in control. And hey, I'm not you bell master for nothing, right? I just don't like the mirror match because it's a lot of stalling and destruction. Like, I like being the one that be the dick with you, though. I don't like facing off against you, though. <laughs> you know, I'm the you belt player, not you. But hey, if it's a mirror match you want, it's a mirror match you get. The question is, is I going to do anything with this you belt? I could leave it there for him to go ahead and destroy, but I could. Oh, wait, I can go and do a Felgrain next turn. Wait, how many level ears I got? Yep, both of them are in there. Yep. Oh, you're, you're off two levels. Uh, that means Elo is level 8, Galaxy Queen's Light makes them all 8, and I see the, the two level eaters. Okay. That's fine. Uh, both level eater. I almost typed in level Easter. Effects. Galaxy and Queen Light, all 8. You two into a Felgram. Awesome. I love that play. So powerful. I think I loved it so much, I think I put an additional Felgram. Yeah, I did. I could pull it off twice if I need to. So, go ahead. Like I said, you're top decking at this point. I'm not even sure if you're going to get it. So, you want to use your uh, Veil of Darkness? During your death phase, if you drew a dark monster, you can reveal it, then <gasps> send it to a graveyard and then draw one more card. So, alright. What was I thinking that Veil of Darkness was like a uh, card trader? That like you show the dark monster, shuffle it back in your deck, and then draw an additional card. I guess Veil is better because you don't have to have the chance of drawing into the same monster. But can you just keep looping that? It doesn't say it once per turn. So if we drew a dark monster, he can go ahead and send it, draw, draw. This isn't it during your draw phase? Alright, sure. GG. Judge you how to play your bell deck. What's my next card? Message in a bottle. Yeah? Yeah, well, if I just detach with you, then and your bell's on the field. So, your bell, Act of a Chaos, that will Alright, let's go ahead and get one more Dolan. So if he wants to see some you bell decks, always come to my channel. Always ask me for help. So, you, you need. You bells. Take some skill, you 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 misplayed. Yeah, if you would have just waited, you should have waited because I was gonna go activate Galaxy Queen's Light, go into uh, Super Chocolate Fudge Cover, and then in response to my summon of Super Chocolate Fudge Cover, you should have win. All right, uh, activate when reverse. Because if you if you change it to my, you can't change it to my set because I'm just gonna go detach, wipe you, and no response. So you should have done it as soon as I summon Super Chocolate Fudge Cover. But I guess you didn't know what my plans were. My hand is terrible. Ew. Ew. Ew, I should just scoop it up right now. I opened up terrible against Cleese, like, yay. Yeah, I got that Cleese. They're gonna be something. Still wait on that ban list. That's a recording right now. Still no ban list, so. Hopefully we get it soon. Like I said, I'm a hypocrite. I'm a hypocrite. I'm like saying, ew, dueling against Cleese right now. When I have Cleese right here in my hand. Like, you know, but this, those are two different Daniels. This Daniel wants to have fun and, you know, play with the you bell deck. I wish I would have got a dark monster. Any dark monster would have been great. Go ahead and pitch it, set it, the limit reverse, any dark monster. <sighs> but, uh, you know, Dirty Dan, Dirty Dan, uh, you know, there's Daniel who likes to have fun and play Yu-Gi-Oh. Then there's Dirty Dan who likes to fucking win. And Dirty Dan is making fucking Klebolo, which is exactly what we're doing again. So, I don't know what we're waiting for. Yep, open up with Sacrifice, because number generator. Wow, and don't attack me. Okay. Wow, and then I draw... You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop it out. I'm already doing it against Cleese, and I drew terribly. Yeah, yep, it's bad. Let's go ahead and get another good one. Because, literally, if it's been... And he didn't attack me, it just seems like we're going to stall out to the end of the video, and I'm not even going to get to do anything. You can clearly see my, my draws are just terrible, so... 
We'll go ahead and get one more duel in. We're going, you're dueling against what? The third best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now? And I opened up terribly? Like, sounds awesome. So apparently this guy's in some Final Pain guild. Is that like a guild or a team? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Like, you guys are going to see enough Klebola today. All you have to do is watch daily duels, so... You don't need to watch it again on here and just watch me get crushed. Like I said, one sacrifice opens up with it because the number generator. And like I said, I really didn't have much to face him down with anyway. I opened up terrible, so there we go. That's that's much better. So. Turning a 41 card deck. All right, of course we're gonna go ahead and send you bell. Set the calls. Glimmer reverse. And my turn. Take it slow. Yeah, what we're facing. This will probably be the final duel in this video. So, uh, I promise I won't quit. So, no matter what it is, even if it's freaking Necros and he first turn trishes me and banishes my entire world. Look in his extra deck. So Trish, I think Trish resolves after you select a target, so I don't even think I can be like, you know, dodge. Actually, I could be like dodge. Hmm, not really. I was thinking. I think I can be like dodge, because he, if he activates it, and he, especially if he pitches a shrit, like hell yeah, activate, summon, no monsters in my grave, definitely. Damn, Drew, and plays again. It's fine. Think about going to summon Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, summon Yudel, and XC into the Wall of Chain, the Wall of Chain, send a level eater. Go ahead and get that graveyard set up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. The question is, yeah, I should do it main phase one. Go ahead and get the playoff before I run into like a Raikou or something. Yeah. I want to cash on again tonight. Go ahead and send level eater. There we go. So, message in a bottle is ready. Just need to start getting some of my level modulating cards like usual. You know, I think the deck has been working better ever since I took out uh, uh, Galaxy Wizard. He just hasn't really been doing anything. That's fine. Uh... Go ahead. Because I cannot special summon. I can't even summon the level eater. Because I cannot special summon except for XC summons for the rest of the turn. So. so you gotta kill my level chain. If you don't kill my level chain, especially if I draw a freaking level modulating card, oh, you're in trouble. Because that's gonna, that's gonna be a fell grand. Because <laughs> I would definitely go level chain, send the level, other uh, level, eat two levels off, level modulate, go ahead and make a foul grind. So, it's gonna tribute. Ooh. Tribute from Mali. Okay. That's fine. Creature swap. You can have my bell. Because when I kill it, I get the effect because you bell resolves in the graveyard. So, yeah, you can have my bell. Take her. Take her. I'll get her later. I'm not even concerned with her. At least he doesn't have to tribute a monster because the bell's effect is negated. Anyway, before before this video ends, you know what? I'm not sure. It's, this video's pretty late. I'm not sure if everybody watches all the way to the end, but I guess I'll go ahead and do a question. Uh, I want to know something. Uh, for tomorrow's live video, uh, do you guys want a top five or do you want another webcam duels? Because I'm kind of torn between them and I'm not sure which one I want to do. So I want your opinion. You know, we did a webcam duels last week. So if you want another one, it's a different deck. Like I said, I give up on Red Easy Bell, so we're gonna try out a different deck uh, than say webcam duels. But if you want a uh, top five, because I already have a list of top five that I want to go ahead and do, uh, then go ahead and comment top five or 
really I don't care. But like I said, it's gonna be a little while before I you know go to tournaments. It's, you know I'm still working on my clue deck. When I have my clue deck finished, then yeah, let's go. You know, uh, you build a practice game. So. You don't have to tribute. That's kind of. I don't even know how to spell chameleon. Is that how you spell it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I spelled it. Guest. Yeah. That's why I didn't have to tribute my Lalala Chainder Mind Phaser kill you, Bell. So I'll go ahead and just on your turn. But just keep in mind that when I kill Evel by battle, it resolves in my grave. Grave. So go ahead and draw. Phantom Chaos. All right. So wall, wall, flat. Detach. We'll go ahead and some Bubble Eater. I need some of my love, my level modulating cards. We run triple Galaxy Queen's Light, triple Starlight, Star Bright. Like I would love one of them. All of them just be fan fucking tastic. I could pull off some serious plays if I just had one. That's all I need is one. If I get one, then shit, I might be able to. Mm. Mm. You know, like, 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 let's say, let's say hypothetically, I drew one this turn. Like, what can I do? Galaxy Queen's Light. I drew this turn. All right. Galaxy, yeah. If I drew Galaxy Queen's Light this turn, tap, get tear, fucking, uh, level eat off. Galaxy, yeah, hell yeah, I could, I could pull off some plays. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and kill you, Bell, and get Tear at this point. Alright, attacking. Destroyer. Destroyer. Her effect is negated, so she doesn't have her I can't be destroyed on battle effect. She can't be destroyed. Now, I get her effect. Because, because she resolves in my grave. I'll go ahead and get Terra. And then I'll go ahead and slap you in the face with the Lalo chain. So Creature Swap really doesn't work. Like, yeah, sure. Take my Yubel. I'll get her back anyway, I know. Because Yubel always resolves in my grave, so. And I guess I'll just go ahead and uh Actually I should have freaking been Dark Graffer. My bad. I could have gotten additional damage in. I could have got additional damage in. That's fine. Because I want this in the graveyard anyway, so. I want decks in anyway. Uh, yeah, what's my mirror? Get out of here. So, like I said, if I draw one of them cards. Right. I said I missed out on 17 damage. That sucks. Hopefully, he doesn't end up biting me in the ass. Oh, uh, let's see what I'm gonna do. If I guess, if I can just get one level modulating card, one. I just need one. I don't care. Galaxy Queen's Light, Starlight, Star Bright. I don't care. Just one. Give me, a, give me a level modulating card. Give me a level modulating card. Shit. Give me fucking uh, a fucking. Metal Reflect Slime, I'll take that too. Just one of them, so I can do, at least do some XP plays. I haven't even exceeded it, that oldest duel. Okay, at least I made him do a chain. Like, how do I exceed that oldest duel? <laughs> so, you got Mally in the grave, so if you got a Plague Spreader in hand, you can go into a double sink 8. That's not terrible. Of course, I'm not going to tell you how to play Yu Gi Oh! But, alright. So, Armageddon Knight, Zen Plague. He's like, how'd you know? Let's go read you like a book. Yeah, it's unplugged. I love Secret Rare. Secret Rare is my favorite rarity. If 
Fun fact, if you guys didn't know, Super Rare is my favorite rarity. I love Super Rare. They look so sexy. So shiny and pretty. Like, wow. There you go. It's a fun fact. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, this is the second U Bell deck. The second U Bell deck. I duel today. So it is Plague Let's just U Bell. So send Plague. So, who are you going to go into? Stardust would be pretty good. Stardust would not be bad. Stardust would allow you to at least, you know, negate me. Decker. Take her. I can get rid of her. So, take her. Can't stand the card creature swap, though. But, take her. Hmm. Actually, you know what? How am I going to get rid of her? Okay. Okay. That sucks. It's, I, you know what? To tell you the truth, I misplayed. I could have chained. I was just thinking about it. I could have chained, uh, uh, could have chained. Yeah, I should have chained. Instead of getting him tear, I should have just went activate call the haunted summon. Doesn't matter. And then of course chain resolves backwards. So call the haunted with summon the monster. Creature swap. Select my target. Give you that. Not t give you tear. Oh yes, that was hard part. So, so of course, like I said, I would have misplayed. So he still would have had this. I still would have had tear. So I would have had tear on the field. Then I could have win. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, turn on the field, uh, I will eat or eat a level off, so drop the 10. Uh, then activate Call of the Haunted, summon you bell. Then level eater effect again on tear, drop the 9. Starlight Star Bright, make them all 10, because that one will be like you bell. And then overlay, and then overlay. I could have went to fucking double Dora. Yeah, double Dora right there. There's Dora, and then. If I wanted to, I could just keep the terror, but like I said, I could over these two into another door. I want to. I'll probably just keep the door, just as it is. But why do I summon this additional one? I don't need to summon this. I guess I summon attack mode because 600 damage more. But yeah, maybe keep the terror just because, you know, I can make myself unaffected by the terror wipe. Just because there's multiple steps during the end phase. So be like terror effect wipe and I just be like chain make myself unaffected back to you so hmm. anyway I'll go ahead and call an episode of Lime and Y so like I said if I get that I need to get them level modulating cards and like I said I, I feel like the deck is doing better without um uh what's his face Galaxy Wizard I don't need him I don't need him because I, I used to run three Galaxy Queens, like three Galaxy Wizards. All I did was just take three Galaxy Wizards out and put in three Starlight Star Bright. Essentially the same thing. Then I took out. Um, I'm not running Oasis in this deck. I ran Call Hunter and Lemon Reverse. This is all. But no Oasis. Take out Lemon Reverse. Put, I mean, take out Oasis. Put in. Uh, Metal Reflux Line. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Lime and Y. Another episode of uh, Ubeloxies. That went totally fine. Next doing fine. I'm not planning on taking it off anytime soon. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, Cosmic Ebell. Like I said, uh, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me do you guys want to see uh, a webcam duel, another webcam duel, or a top five? Up to you. I can do either one for Thursday's uh, live video. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow.